is a lot of activity finding drugs that are active in castration resistant prostate cancer patients, but that is targeting like 10 to 15 percent of the patients who do really badly. We know there are a lot of patients who need androgen deprivation therapy, but together with hormone therapy, together with uh, external beam radiation therapy for a short period of time or so. And in these patients, one of the challenges is to reduce toxicity. So as you know, in Europe, we've been using uh, androgen monotherapy, bicalutamide 150, and these drugs have the ability to control the cancer without requiring androgen deprivation therapy. So developing an alternative to standard hormone therapy. And these are the preliminary data. If I want to make it in a nutshell, it would be like a more, much more achieved anti-androgen than bicalutamide. So, and, and, and bicalutamide blocked the binding to the androgen receptor. This one does the same plus block the translocation in the nucleus and the binding to the uh, uh, androgen responsive element. So basically it's a much more potent anti-androgen. So this is why we wanted to use it alone to see what it does. We gave it to patients who need hormone therapy but not together with hormone therapy. We gave it alone and we monitor tumor response using PSA and side effect using a whole battery of tests. And here we show that in terms of PSA response, it is working very well. PSA drops very low in most of these patients. We took a very conservative approach of showing a, a PSA drop of more than 80% to be sure at least that if it didn't reach that endpoint, we, we know we couldn't go further. But in fact, it does much better than that and it depresses PSA very, very uh, profoundly. So we know at least initially it works. Anti-androgen monotherapy is not an unfinished business. There are promises maybe for the patient in a few years uh, perspective to have a drug that could do the same as androgen deprivation therapy without its side effect, which for many patients is something they expect, I guess. What are the messages directly for cancer doctors at this point? Look at these drugs and uh, try to think out of the box of standard hormonal therapy.